What's up everyone, Trey Thousand GT here with a brand new video. Uh, today we're gonna take a quick look at the Adidas Eddie Merckx EM Comp BWL. Now this was a, a bicycling shoe and Eddie Merckx was, uh, uh, well is a former Belgium pro uh, cyclist. He's actually considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest cyclist of all time. And uh, from what I gathered, uh, he designed this competition shoe after winning his fifth world title for cycling in uh, 1974. So these probably originally released around 1975. Um, but the thing is, is that this is the retro. This is not the original, and the retro released in 2003. And actually, the production date on here just says March 2003. So, with that said, um, number one, pricing. It's going to be a little weird. Uh, these shoes don't show up often, so I really can't give you a price on them. Uh, you know, really the market's going to dictate that. I see some pairs up for like 40, 50 bucks, but uh, not in this colorway. This is actually, in my opinion, the nicest colorway. As you can see, it's got the red, white, and blue. And, uh, some, you know, I've had someone tell me that they look like bowling shoes, and I cannot disagree with that. They definitely kind of have that bowling shoe look, but they're not bowling shoes. They're uh, cycling shoes, so you could actually see see the little cyclist on the uh, on the tongue. This uh, what makes these kind of interesting, besides the the design and the uh, you know the history behind them. Uh, the entire inside of the shoe is like a felt material, so when you put them on with socks. It really, really uh, makes the, the the fit very snug. So if you're looking for a pair of these, I would definitely advise to go, whatever you wear in an Air Max 90, go a half size up from that. And to be honest with you, I'm being conservative. Personally, I mean, I got a size 12 here. I should have picked up a size 13. Now, I typically wear a size 12 in Air Max 90s. But for this particular shoe, I know I'm going to need a uh, at least a size 13. They just fit so, so snug. Or even 12 and a half would have been a little bit better. But um, I don't think they made half sizes past 12 in these. Uh, right here, this is like uh, neoprene. And then down the uh, middle, you have a nice uh, leather. And then neoprene again. The three, stri the three stripes is uh, leather. And it's got these like flat bottoms. But uh, they don't feel like, they don't feel slippery like a bowling shoe would. And you know, some people have told me these things remind them of bowling shoes and you know, I wouldn't completely disagree, but I definitely like these. They're not bowling shoes, you can wear them. Um, just very nice. In my opinion, anyway, um, I know not a lot of people are doing reviews on this shoe, so I figured I'd give you guys a look. They have that uh, vintage Adidas insole, but um, yeah, definitely with the sizing. If you're looking for a pair of these, be aware. I mean, at least for this specific colorway, um, the entire inside of the shoe is a felt material, and uh, it definitely makes the shoe fit a lot a lot more uh, tight on your foot so anyway with uh with that said we're going to go into the section i'm going to show you uh what they look like on your feet with shorts and with jeans
All right, everyone, so that's the video. Um, the only thing I thought I would add in addition to everything I already said is that these things are very, very lightweight, super, super light. And um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free, drop me a line. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.